generations, we Masons have fought for the Red Faction. Many were heroes, but heroes have enemies. And one, a self-styled messiah named Adam Hale, has returned with an army to conquer Mars. It's a war he's losing. Holy crap, did I have a blast with this freaking game. And it's not like this is some incredible, groundbreaking release or anything, but not every game has to be. It has plenty of flaws that game critics are contractually obligated to point out, but hey, it's also a ton of fun, and after all, these are video games. So, that has to count for something, right? This is Red Faction Armageddon! Remember, Adam Hell is a kill on sight. Now lock and load. Conditions deteriorating. Hang on, it's gonna get rough! Developed by Volition and published by THQ, Red Faction Armageddon follows up 2009's Guerrilla as the fourth game in the Red Faction series. Now, it's gotten a lot of poor reviews since its release earlier this summer, but after playing the game myself, I'm inclined to disagree with my fellow critics and call bullshit upon them. But before we get to that, an important preface about my opinion on Red Faction Armageddon. Uh, this is actually my very first experience with the Red Faction franchise. As someone who has mostly covered Nintendo platforms throughout his career, I've obviously not had to play a whole lot of Volition's shooter series. I'm also not a so-called hardcore gamer who gets all upset when games are too easy or too simple. I'm old school. I prefer approachable difficulty, and I prefer simple game design. Now, this is important to mention because the things that make Armageddon a bad game aren't really things that bother me. I mean, is it easy? Yes, absurdly so. Is it mindless? Uh, did you think shooting aliens in the face wouldn't be? But I prefer to ask, is it fun? And again, did you think shooting aliens in the face wouldn't be? You play Armageddon as Darius Mason, the grandson of the guy you played as in Gorilla. Evidently, people are now living on Mars, and if you know anything about planets and space, you understand that would be kind of difficult given the planet's thin atmosphere. The inhabitants get around that with this giant atmospheric regulator thing. I don't know, that seems dangerous to me. It'd, it'd be a shame if some terrorist group destroyed that thing. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Hell had crushed decades of Martian hopes and dreams. Sergeant Winters told me the mission's failure was not my own. So long, boring, and poorly told story short, you're shooting monsters on Mars. Or I guess, more appropriately, you're shooting monsters in Mars. Armageddon takes you through the interior of the Red Planet, providing a tour of some seriously cool environments. It's a game packed with eerie settings, places only made creepier by occasionally nifty art and the tactics of your Martian enemies. So the vibe works pretty well, and the gameplay, simple as it may be, also does exactly what it's trying to. Armageddon's basic gameplay works in part because the weaponry is so freaking awesome. Obviously, the big hook here is the emphasis on mindless destruction. The more stuff you blow up, the better your chance to upgrade thanks to collectibles that are scattered in the debris. You also have these Jedi powers that only make your environment even more uh, adjustable, as you might say. Now, there isn't much strategy whatsoever to this game, but again, I was having way too much fun making walls cave in on top of Martians to care. And to drive its point home, Armageddon also has a few modes based purely on the concept of mindless destruction. And if that doesn't sound enjoyable to you, this game probably won't either. And it's far from a great one, but as a mindless romp through Martian caverns, Red Faction Armageddon delivers. This is like, this is like gaming popcorn. 